as I said in my opening uh, comments, the deficit is a tough situation that we're in. There's no doubt about it. I think everybody can agree to that. Um, I believe working with the Auditor General and having the Auditor General involved uh, is a positive step. I believe that working with all trustees and senior management, setting very clear goals, uh, com communicating and working with our partner groups. When it comes time to the budget, I think we need to all sit down together. Everybody needs to feel they have a voice that they can say what's on their mind, whether it's the partner group specifically, the community coming together, we need to have round tables, we need to have good discussion, has to be fair, has to be respectful, and then the board needs to go back and decide what's gonna be in the best interest of Langley. Uh, as far as uh, the cuts, being so far in debt, there has to be cuts. It's where do we make them, how do we make them? Um, and I think if we are all a part of that process, uh, it will be much easier for us to be able to accept and we may be able to come up with some great ideas of the least amount of impact within our classrooms and with our children so um, I would just sit and be respectful and want to honor everybody who's willing to come to the table and have some ideas some some fresh new ideas and once again I just think Staying with the Auditor General, working on that report, I think we need to fine tune that report and set a little bit uh, more specific goals and know that we're on track and have clear guidelines uh, to work with. Um, at this point, I think that's a good way to go and have that communication open. Thank you. Thank you. The key, the, the, the debt, this was a result of errors made by staff uh, and not having a system in place to deal with those errors as they came up. Uh, the money was spent on students, programs, and staff. Um, the, this, the employees who made the errors are gone. The budget has been gone through with a fine tooth comb. New processes are in place. A new secretary treasurer has been hired. An audit committee has been set up so this won't happen again and we need to get on with the job at hand. The deficit elimination plan uh, is spreads the, the deficit over three years and hopefully that will help mitigate, mitigate the impact on students. Thank you. Since uh, 2002, the number of students has dropped to the neighborhood of 1,000. The number of teachers has basically remained the same. So by, de by reducing the number of teachers, which has been uh, implemented in the 2010 plan budget that's in place now, it actually um, has, I would say, very little impact on the actual day-to-day -day teaching. Where my concern comes in is in the next four years, trying to recoup the $13.5 million. That's where we're gonna hurt big time. From looking at the $13.5 million, the plan that's in place it is actually very, very vague. The specifics are gonna come, and there's gonna be a lot of pain to come from it. I believe that this should be borne by the provincial government, should not be borne by the school district, and that we should continue and fight for the funding from the government of BC for the best of our children. Um, I do have uh, concerns about um, the classroom sizes as relates to, to, to safety. Um, as, as far as you know, there's, there's, there's teachers that, with the overcrowding, there's teachers in shop classes, there's teachers in uh, uh, resource teachers that have to deal with some uh, behavioral issues that don't have the capacity to do that. And the overcrowding lends itself to uh, a potential for something really bad to happen, not only to the students, but to 